Hey shortwave listeners, YouTubers. Just wanted to do a quick video here on some of the noise problems I have at my location. Um, you may have this too, I live in the city. And I bought a QRM eliminator, basically a noise eliminator from Wemo, Wimo, I'm not sure how you pronounce that company. But you'll see when I turn on the uh, shortwave, the Sony, uh, take listen to the noise level, up, up near about 20 megahertz. Now that's some serious noise. Now I'll get to WWV, which is not too bad. You can hear the noise in the background. So let's back it out to the noise level. And then what I have here is the noise eliminator, the battery. Let me turn that off for a sec. Uh, the battery to power the noise eliminator. Um, then you have to have two antennas. So I have one, the center one goes to the shortwave receiver. And then I have a, one going off to one antenna and the other one just going off to a wire outside. And that's how the noise eliminator works. It basically uses two antennas to try to um, eliminate the noise for you. So let's take a listen. First thing, you can tell that noise level is bad. So let's power this on. All right, so that's good already. You can tell it immediately removes the noise. We'll go back up to WWV. Now here's the main thing you can discover is that the the noise eliminator eliminates noise, but also has some definite uh, attenuation of the signal. I'll turn it up and see if I can adjust it. it takes a little tweaking. It depends on the signal strength too. There, it's coming up. So this is not gonna be great for very low level signals, but hopefully we can get some audio here. There we go. Okay, so let's turn it off again. I'm going to turn down the volume. So again, the noise level, you hear the signal come up quite a bit, but the noise level is really quite high. You know, tuned down again. And that's horrible. And I have that same noise level uh, in about the 7 megahertz range. So, interesting device. Works pretty well on stronger signals, especially in the bands that have a lot of noise. Um, if you have weaker signals, you're probably not going to be able to pull them out. But overall, I would say mediumly, medium impressed with this. I think it's maybe not worth the money I spent on it, but um, I'm not using it only for shortwave listening. I'm also using it for amateur radio. So hopefully you enjoy that. Take a look. Um, I know they have some other ones out there. This one may not be the best. I am not sure. I haven't looked at all the reviews but I happen to get a pretty good price on this. All right, enjoy.